Hello and welcome back to another exciting medical video. Today we will discuss drug sources and all the possible factors emerging from that. The history of pharmacology dates to ancient times. When medicinal herbs and substances were used to treat diseases, Early pharmacologists like Claudius Galen in AD 129 to 200 attempted to understand the theoretical basis of pharmacology by combining empirical knowledge with theoretical concepts. His famous quotes include, The empiricists say that all is found by experience. We, however, maintain that it is found in part by experience, in part by theory. Neither experience nor theory alone is apt to discover all. It was not until the 15th century when Theophrastus von Hohenheim, also known as Paracelsus, began questioning traditional doctrines and demanded knowledge of the active ingredients and remedies, leading to the use of chemically defined substances in medicine. His famous quotes include, If you want to explain any poison properly, what then is not a poison? All things are poison, nothing is without poison, the dose alone causes a thing not to be poison. In the 17th century, Johann Jacob Wepfer was the first to verify pharmacological actions through animal experimentation. His famous quotes include, I pondered at length. Finally, I resolved to clarify the matter by experiments. The foundation of the first institute of pharmacology by Rudolf Buchheim. In 1847, in Dorpat, Estonia, marked the beginning of pharmacology as an independent scientific discipline. Buchheim emphasized not only describing the effects of drugs, but also explaining their chemical properties. His famous quotes include, The science of medicines is a theoretical explanatory. It is to provide us with knowledge by which our judgment about the utility of medicines can be validated at the bedside. Oswald Schmiedberg, along with his disciples, played a significant role in establishing the reputation of pharmacology. Fundamental concepts such as structure-activity relationships, drug receptors, and selective toxicity emerged from the work of researchers like T. Fraser, J. Langley, and P. Ehrlich. Receptor theory was formalized by Alexander J. Clark in the 1920s. The establishment of the first journal of pharmacology by Schmiedberg and Bernhard Nonnen and the contributions of John J. Abel in the United States further advanced the field of pharmacology. After 1920, pharmacology laboratories were established in the pharmaceutical industry and later, departments of clinical pharmacology were set up in universities and industry. This has shaped the current landscape of pharmacology as a scientific field that encompasses both basic and clinical aspects of drug research and development. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics only on scotia.com.